everyone out in the pattern. Burrow told us teams are making them check down. They're keeping them in front of them. Trying to avoid getting in a hole early. Great hands along the sideline. T. Higgins, and he's out of bounds. Burrow did get drilled. Joe Mixon yet to touch it. Third play from scrimmage. Mixon, gadget play, toss it back. Burrow looking deep. Burrow, long ball, separation, couldn't locate it, Jamar Chase. Nice recovery on the outside, LaMarcus Joyner, the safety ranging over. On the back end, you nailed it about LaMarcus Joyner figuring it out and then running to get back into the play. Jamar Chase really outran him, but he made enough of a play to help affect it at the end of it so that Chase couldn't get both hands up and catch the football. A Brett Maher 50-yard field goal to win it for the Cowboys. Second and goal, Burrow will take a shot. Back of the end zone, Higgins the toe tap. This is gonna confer on this one. Out of bounds. DJ Reed back there defensively for New York. You go back to T. Higgins High School basketball the field, days at Oak Ridge. Pass. Look at the back foot. Oh, oh. The heels, I think, is what got it ah. as he came down because the toes certainly looked like they were in. Boy, that look appeared that Higgins yeah, I wonder if they're it. furiously talking about it up in Cincinnati's booth right now. Is there going to be a yep. flag? There will. Watch the toes. Boom, boom. I think that's worth the challenge here in the early going because of this great drive by Cincinnati. Cincinnati, Cincinnati has to challenge. Challenge to rule the field of an incomplete pass. If it was ruled a touchdown, then obviously it would have been automatically reviewed. And look at the two feet right there. And also look at he's grasping the football. He's got control. These are the pictures that the officials will take a look at. Coaches challenge hosting Buffalo in week four. Burrow. Throws it underneath to Higgins after the catch. He's got enough for a first down. Gang tackle as he crossed the 35 and brought down at the 37-yard line. C.J. Mosley leading that charge. That's a gain of nine. Chase lines up to the side of Burrow, and he looks for Chase the catch at the 40. Fumbles the football, and the Jets have it. Chase took a pop. Quincy Williams, aggressive hitter. And the ball came free. Chase is claiming that he was juggling at the time. Yeah, most times receivers don't like to say they're dropping the ball. They do here. Hope it is now put away. The recovery by Mosley. There's the catch. Does he tuck it away and perform the football move? I think Cincinnati might have a case that he did not have possession long enough for that to be a catch. With both feet down on the ground, one foot lifts very quickly, lands again before he loses possession. That's why they confirmed this as a catch fumble. Is that like Butarski's great point average? Yeah, almost a 0.00. .00. Oh! Jamar Chase along the sideline. He trapped it. DJ Reed in coverage. Confident, tenacious corner in his fifth year in the NFL. Remember, he was drafted by Seattle, by San Francisco, came over from Seattle as a free agent, and he's going to battle you. And one of the conversations a lot with him is his height, being 5'9". But he's got good arm length, which allows him to make plays on those bigger receivers. He coached in Atlanta, Seattle, coached at UCLA as well. Play fake, Burr, step, the dial up the deep ball. Jamar Chase, broken up. Sauce Gardner. The rookie out of Cincinnati. Tall, 6'3", 190. And he got back there just enough. Number one against number one on each side. Sauce versus Uno. And Sauce wins that one. And what I liked was the fact that once he got his back turned, he was looking into the eyes of Chase and then played the football that way. As the ball descended, he played up through the arms of the receiver and helped bat it away. Go mix it in the backfield on first down and 10 from the 25. Burrow pushing it downfield. The deep shot caught by Higgins. Flags down and Higgins took a major hit. Lost his helmet. Remember the hit he took against Pittsburgh that knocked him out of the ball game. Yeah, Higgins already indicating to the medical staff, I'm okay, but 
obviously the concern just in general after a hit like that, but what he went through in the opener against the Steelers. 45 yards on the pass play. And that was thrown up in one-on-one -on -one coverage with trust that the receiver would make the play. LaMarcus Joyner with the big hit coming from the other Personal side. Foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense, number 29. Yeah. Pass the distance to the goal. First down. It's a good call. He's leading with his helmet, hit on a defenseless receiver downfield. But the aggressiveness of this Bengals offense in, on full display here in the first half. Jim might remember him from last chance you. So a great story as a first round pick in the NFL. Chase matched up with Gardner. Third and goal under eight minutes to go in this first half. Bengals trying to add to their lead. Burrow in the pocket. Burrow. Spin. Gets out of it. Burrow throws. Right at the goal line. Jamar Chase. And they don't give it to him. I think it's inside the one. Yeah, I think the feet were in, but I'm not sure the ball got there. And Cincinnati is going to go for it. See, the ball's never crossing the plane. The feet were in the end zone. Good catch. And a good job by the official who was right on the spot. Noticing that the ball did not cross the plane. Could not award a touchdown there. And I like this decision by Cincinnati to go for it. The way they've motored on the New York Jets coaching staff is challenging the rule of the field of a completed catch. So the challenge has actually worked in the Jets' favor. Robert Sala challenges the call on the field, which was a clean catch for Jamar Chase. He did not have both feet down. The racers, which is appropriate. Third and nine. Burrow sidesteps. Tosses to the sideline, and it's broken up. Trying to hit T. Higgins, who is back in there for the Bengals. Sauce Gardner helps break it up, and it's fourth down for Cincinnati. You know how young draft picks, high draft picks get followed by NFL fans? How much of an impact will they make early? Do they live up to the hype, the billing? I do believe number one for the New York Jets does. He backs down from no challenges out on the wing, and he makes plays on the book on one and defeated their blockers. Jamar Chase, Sauce Gardner, they're going at it a lot. I mentioned earlier, Gardner's not going back down to anyone. And I do believe Jamar Chase has a little bit of angst in him as well. The deep balls have gone to T. Higgins. That's where the completions have been. Jamar Chase so far has not been able to get going in this season. Chase has been held to two catches, six targets, a total of eight yards. Cincinnati has already got the 20 to 9 lead. They go empty. Mixon will work out of the slot. Burrow on third and goal. Burrow hooks a pass, wide open, Chase, touchdown, Bengals. The Hendrickson force fumble, recovery by Cincinnati, they turn it into six. No, Burrow took a big hit, but the Jets certainly did not appear settled on what they were doing on defense as we get two guarding one there and Chase running free. You see the hit at the end there that Burrow takes. But he'll do that all day long for a wide open receiver like Chase in the end zone. Four defensive players hitting Joe Flacco. The call. Chase has been a touchdown maker in his young NFL career. It was caused because of confusion in the Jets secondary. So we take a look here. Watch, the, watch right here. All right. The Jets starting to talk to each other. The Marcus Joyner, the safety, communicating inside with the linebacker, communicating outside with Sauce Gardner, the corner. And then, inexplicably, he moves back to the middle of the field. Not exactly sure why with that communication. Uh, Mix it in the backfield. They give it to Chase, and the Jets bring him down. Nine straight games, allowing 21 points or more. That's the longest active streak in the NFL. Arizona right behind him. Burrow, nice throw to midfield, and hooks up with Jamar Chase for the completion. You know what I saw in pregame? Jamar Chase going through his passing tree with his receivers coach Troy Walters and instead of a football being using his tennis ball. Pitch it. Chase needs a yard. And he didn't get it. Forced out of bounds. The Jets will take Roll over. Play. It's like ball carries short of the lines again. Sauce First Gardner down, and CJ Mosley combining. His Whitehead three stringing it out. Well, look right there. 
Quan Alexander, number nine, the linebacker, he's the one who finished setting the edge. Sauce Gardner, number one, made sure he didn't get pushed aside and ends up making the play with the help of Gar uh, Quan Alexander, number nine, opening things up for him. An excellent stop by that Jets defense. Jets, Cincinnati, of course, went on the magical run to the Super Bowl. But all the talk this week was just get back to who we are, no panic, go out, execute the game plan. They did exactly that. And it's not college football. It's almost zero talk of revenge. That wasn't really yeah. it. I remember they just said it's more of an awareness that we lost to them last year.